Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel on LELB Society at LELB.net. I'm Dr. Hariri, the creator of LELB Society, which is an online learning community to practice English academically. In this session, I'm going to teach you an English vocabulary lesson on the basis of business and business and work technical terms. And before starting, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for the upcoming English videos at high quality. And there are going to be a lot of flashcards, illustrated flashcards and explanations and examples in order to learn these words and phrases better and more effectively. All right, the first word is administrator. Administrator means someone whose job involves managing the work of a company or organization uh, also you could say ceo standing for chief executive officer she works as a school administrator a school administrator is called a principal or headmaster okay next word amateur or amateur it means someone who lacks skill skill in what they do so not professional i won't be giving them any more work because there are bunch of there are a bunch of amateurs so a group of amateurs not professional okay next word is camaraderie camaraderie is a formal word which means a feeling of friendliness towards people with whom you work or share an experience so when you've been climbing alone for hours there is a tremendous sense of camaraderie when you meet another climber it refers to for example Everest climbers uh, or any other mountain climber so yeah the next word is colleague colleague or co-worker one of a group group of people who work together you could say co-worker we are entertaining some colleagues of Ben's tonight so let me explain about that colleagues of Ben's it means Ben's colleagues it's more formal to put it this way the next word is desk clerk and it means someone who works at, at the main desk in a hotel or you could say receptionist The desk clerk greeted us warmly with a radiant smile. Okay. Next word is employee. It means someone who is paid to work for someone else. So the counterpart would be employer. Employee. So employee means employed. The number of employees in the company has trebled over the past decade. And decade means a period of time uh, equaling uh, 10 years. <laughs> Pay attention to this grammar point. When you use the number of something or someone, 
the verb must be singular. We have has here. Okay. Has. But let me elaborate on that. Okay. The number of somebody, something, then singular verb. The number of, I'm sorry, a number of somebody, something, then the verb must be plural. This is a grammar point you should know about. So the number of employees in the company has trebled, has become three times more over the past decade, in the past 10 years. The next word, which is an idiom, get the X. If someone gets the X, it means that they are dismissed from their jobs, or they are fired. They are fired. 100 workers are facing the axe in a cost-cutting ex exercise. So they just wanted to uh, get rid of some unnecessary costs. And therefore, actually, they fired some uh, workers. Next word is life insurance which is a system in which you make regular payments to an insurance company in exchange for a fixed amount of money which will be paid to someone you have named, usually a member of your family, when you die. So, your money will be paid back to your uh, close friends or family members after you die uh, in exchange for what you have been just giving them when you were alive. All right, a large proportion of my entire salary is spent on my life insurance. Pay attention, proportion means actually part. Proportion. Proportion. Or you could say portion also. Okay. Next, lucrative. It means of a business, job, or activity producing a lot of money. Money making. The merger proved to be a very lucrative for both companies. What is a merger? Merger refers to the unification of two or more companies for better lucrative, uh, let's say, advantages or profits. Better profits so they join each other in order to become wealthier okay next menial and it means it is describes work that is boring tiring and given a low social value it's fairly menial work, such as, for example, washing dishes and cleaning floors. Yeah, they don't give you much prestige, and they are, uh, in some uh, people's ideas, they are low jobs or cheap jobs, but I do not think that actually any job could be called uh, valueless or low or down because they have their own value but anyway uh, the next word is negotiate negotiate as you can see in this photo means to have a formal discussion with someone in order to reach an agreement with them okay I've managed to negotiate or obtain by discussion a 5% pay increase with my boss. Obtain means acquire, get, yeah, here it is, means to get or acquire something 
especially by making an attempt, acquire, gain, achieve, attain. The next word is per capita and it means if you state an amount per capita you mean that that amount for each person individually France and Germany invest far more per capita in public transport than Britain so a comparison has been made invest means to put money effort and time into something to put money effort time etc into something to make a profit or get an advantage pittance pittance means um, a very small amount of money especially money received as a payment income which is actually nothing or not considerable he works hard but he's paid a pittance the next word is profession and it means specialized job or career that requires specific skills education or training occupation vocation career some students might enter some professions that have nothing to do with their education. It's clear. Okay, the next word is qualified. And it means having enough skills and knowledge about a particular subject, especially through passing some courses, fitted, licensed. You could say eligible. <clears throat> the interview, which is a meeting in which someone asks you questions to see if you are suitable for a job or course, made it clear who was qualified and who was unsuitable for the job among so many job applicants. The next word is remuneration. Means the pay you give someone for something they have done for you. Salary income. They demanded adequate. Adequate means enough. Means sufficient, satisfactory for a particular purpose. Remuneration for their work. So sufficient. adequate the next word is resign it means to give to give you to give up I'm sorry to give up your job position by informing your employer that you no longer work leave your job quit job hand in your notice or resignation form the noun is resignation she resigned from her job as an accountant after becoming a mother so when she became when she became a mother she just uh, handed in her notice or resignation form okay she quit job the next word is sinecure sinecure or soft job which is a position which involves little work but for which the person is paid so there is good money so you get a good and high salary but you your job does not require so much work so it's an easy job or soft job the job that he has is just a sinecure He's overpaid and reaps so many advantages. Rip means harvest. Or here it means gain. Okay. The next word is team spirit. 
willingness to work as part of a team, a spirit to call. Okay, sense of collaboration or cooperation. This job requires you to develop an optimum level of team spirit. And optimum means optimal, also ideal. The next word is toil. And toil means hard work, especially that which is physically tiring. Labor. Okay. Linda has achieved her comfortable life only after years of hard toil. Okay. Vocation. Vocation means a job or profession that requires special commitment, profession, career, occupation, talent, inclination. At the age of 40, he finally found his true vocation as a professional blogger. Okay. And the next word or last word is wholesale. Wholesale means of or for the selling of goods in large amounts or quantities at low prices to shops and businesses rather than the selling of goods in shops to customers individually and one by one. So the opposite is retail. We only sell wholesales, wholesale, not to the public. We only sell wholesale, not to the public. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. We come to the end of this English vocabulary lesson. I really hope you enjoyed it. If so, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also you can uh, access the link to this English content, to the content of this English lesson so that you could access all the flashcards and examples in text. So I will just uh, drop the link in the description area. So you can click on that to see this page. And yeah, thank you very much. Take care and bye-bye.